Hello again everyone. We'll continue discussing the second part of our topics, which are the anatomy and physiologic basis of the avian female reproductive system as well as the breeding behaviors through a PowerPoint presentation. Let's proceed to the avian female reproductive system. The figure shown here is the female urogenital system with its distinct parts labeled. This one shows the anatomy of the oviduct. Most female birds, including the domestic species, only the left ovary and the left oviduct would develop. A part of the anatomy of avian female also includes the sperm storage which is located in the uterovaginal junction. So only normal sperm can enter the sperm storage. For the ovarian endocrinology, it is composed of some hormones like aromatase, estrogens, progesterone, luteinizing hormone, FSH receptor, and also androgens, in which it is produced by the theca interna. The oocyte hormones are composed of the growth differentiation factor and bone morphogenetic factor. The postovulatory follicle remains after ovulation, and although it has a role in the timing of oviposition, it does not continue to produce progesterone. The selection of the follicles have different types. These are the atresia or apoptosis or the programmed cell death, the clutch or sequence, the determinant species where the specific numbers of eggs are matured and ovulated, and the indeterminant species. It is when eggs are removed from the nest. The hen will continue to ovulate and lay eggs. For the ovulatory cycle, chickens ovulate at 26 hour intervals and oviposition after 26 hours. The initiation of LH surges is termed as the open period, where it appears to be a restricted to a particular time. This figure here is the ovary of a hen. The pre-ovulatory follicles of the hierarchy are identified according to size, with the F1 follicle being the largest follicle and followed on by the F2 as the second largest and so on. After ovulation, Oviposition occurs approximately after 24 to 26 hours. Prostaglandin secretion from the pre-ovulatory follicle as well from the post-ovulatory follicle is involved in oviposition. The arginine vasotocin hormone rises at the time of oviposition. Now, let's proceed with our last topic which is the brooding. Brooding is a pattern of behavior of certain egg-laying animals, especially birds. Marked by cessation of egg laying and readiness to sit on and incubate eggs. Broodiness of the bird is observed when egg production declines and the hen begins to incubate her eggs, which would result in their decrease in food consumption during this time. Prolactins are high during this time, and plasma concentrations of gonadotropins are very low. Regression of the ovary also occurs. So that ends our topic for today. Thank you for listening everyone.